Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the properties of quadrilaterals. And the quadrilaterals we'll be taking a look at are parallelograms, rhombuses, rectangles, squares, trapezoids, kites, and the special types of trapezoids, isosceles trapezoids. Let's take a look at parallelograms and some of the properties of parallelograms. Parallelograms, the opposite sides are always parallel. The opposite sides are always congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. So for example, that means angle P would be congruent to angle R, and angle Q would be congruent to angle S. And also the diagonals will bisect each other. So if we draw a diagonal from Q to S, and the diagonal from P to R, each of those diagonals will cut each other in half. So taking a look at our parallelograms, we are going to look at specific parallelograms of rhombuses, rectangles, and squares, which are all types of parallelograms. Looking at rhombuses, rhombuses have four congruent sides. The diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other, and the diagonals bisect their angles. So four congruent sides, you'll notice that with the little dash marks or tick marks on all four sides. Diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. So if we draw a diagonal, and then we draw our other diagonal, not only do they bisect each other like parallelograms, but they'll bisect each other at a right angle. The last property is that the diagonals bisect their angles. This means that as we draw our diagonals, it will cut each of those angles in half. Keep in mind also as we look at these that rhombuses, rectangles, and squares all inherit all of the properties of parallelograms as well. So rhombuses have all the properties of parallelograms as do rectangles. Rectangles are a special type of parallelogram that have four right angles and their diagonals are congruent. So if you draw diagonals on a rectangle, those diagonals will be the exact same measure which brings us to squares. Squares are actually a combination of rhombuses and rectangles. They have four congruent sides and four right angles. This means that squares inherent, inherit the properties of rhombuses and the properties of rectangles. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at our special quadrilaterals, trapezoids, kites, and isosceles trapezoids. Trapezoids have only one set of parallel sides. Those parallel sides are called bases. For trapezoids, they have something called a mid-segment. Mid-segment is halfway along each of the non-parallel sides, each of the legs. And the mid-segments are equal to the average of the base lengths. So for example, if this was 6 and this were 8, we could add those together to get 14 divided by 2 and we get 7. So the mid-segment is always the average of the two base lengths. And the mid-segment is also parallel to the two bases. For kites, kites have two parallel congruent sides. The opposite sides are not congruent. That means this side will not be congruent to the side that is opposite of it. The diagonals are perpendicular. So if we draw our diagonals, those diagonals will intersect each other at a right angle. And only one pair of opposite angles is congruent. So in this case, this angle is going to be congruent to excuse me. This angle right here is going to be congruent to this angle here. Let's take a look at our special trapezoids, isosceles trapezoids. Isosceles trapezoids are trapezoids that have congruent legs. So the two leg lengths will be the same measure. Their consecutive angles are congruent as a result. So this angle will be congruent to this one, and this angle will be congruent to this one. And the last property of isosceles trapezoids that we're going to take a look at are that the diagonals are also congruent. So if you'll draw a diagonal and draw the other diagonal, you'll note that the 
diagonals are the same measure.